Hey, what's up, everybody? You know, I've had some people asking me questions as to how I record my video game footage. Well, just like, well, just like a famous video game reviewer known as the AVGN, mine's real simple. Now, I'm not sure if James does it this way or not, but right here, as you can see, is my DVD recorder. I think that answers just about everything. But in case some of you don't know, here's how it goes. Now, I don't know if you can see just, just yet, because the lighting's a little bad right now, and it's, uh, well, as you can see, it's bright outside, but not too bright. But here's the answer. These right here, as you know, are your audio, audio and video uh, inputs. And basically, here's what you do. You take, and I'm going to show you up here, so it might be a little lighter. Yeah, it is a little lighter. You take, basically, your audio and video output uh, cables of your game systems. Like, this here is the Xbox. These here are the Xbox 360 cables, uh, PS2, and I'm pretty sure, actually, this is PS2, this is PS1. And like I said, these are your Xbox 360 cables. And then normally what you do with the... Now what you would do is you'll disconnect those from wherever you have them hooked up in, right? Then you'll take them and basically what you'll do is you'll insert them into here. It's usually recommended to insert them up front because basically these are your um, video in... This is your line two. Basically this is your video input right here. The other side is sort of like an output, so it wouldn't make sense. You know. And besides, your back, I don't think you can see that, is occupied by a lot of more wires hooked up into your, hooked up to your cable box. And besides, well, what I'm saying is that your wires in the back of your recorder are hooked up to your cable box and your TV. So your cable box and your TV got the back one got the back outputs and inputs occupied. Now, like I said, what you need to do is have it on line, in line two. Then what you need to do as well, if you want to play while you're recording, is put it onto your chosen video. Usually with the outputs here, Usually with these front ones, your best choice is video 2, channel video 2, so that's where you go. Now, you might say, well, what about composite video, or components video, whatever you want to call it. Well, you see, that's where you have to keep your audio video cables that come with your player. Because these are the only ways you're going to record. Now, yes, you do have audio video cables. Well, you have component, you know, outputs in the back of your recorder, which is okay. But still, audio and video, the red, the yellow, white, and red are the most suggested. So that's basically the uh, most suggested. So that's basically how I record my video game footage. I hook up my Xbox 360 cables or my PS2, my Xbox 360 cables, or my PS2, or actually PS1 or PS2, I hook these up to the back here. Now you might ask yourself, well, what if I have, what if I want to do what James does, and that's record footage from my, let's say, my Nintendo? Well, it's real simple. If you're very fortunate to have a DVD recorder like I did, like it, which was an ILO, oh, which was an ILO, if you're very fortunate to have a DVD recorder, which was an ILO, what you can do is basically take, um, well, hold on for a second. Let's, let's uh, take a walk for a bit. Sorry about the darkness and everything, but let's take a walk for a bit, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here we go. I'm sorry if it's a little bit more darker. 
It's about, it's still early in the morning, so what are you expecting? It's cloudy outside a little bit. So, I apologize. Here we go. That'll help out just, just a bit. But basically what you have here, what you do, is you take your cable, your video cable, and you put it in your antenna, in your input of your in your antenna input section. You screw it in. Basically what that means is you okay, what that means is if you have a DVD recorder, you screw in your audio input right here. No, you already what I'm saying, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm still waking up a little bit. What I'm saying is you take this, and if you're very fortunate, like I said, to have a recorder like I did, it, before I got the Sony one, what you do is you screw it into your audio input. And then, what you do, as well, your audio input, would, basically this would be where your cable would run into, your cable to your television. So what you would do is you would disconnect that and put it in to your recorder. If you're very fortunate to have a DVD recorder with the um, if you're very fortunate, like I said, if you, to have a DVD recorder recorder with the the back into it. Th that's basically what it is. All you have to do all you have to do is just hook it in. That's all. That's all you have to do. You basically got to take this out. Okay, like... Well, ba basically, what I'm saying is that all you have to do... You can see the back here. All you have to do is, if this was a DVD recorder, or even VHS was, all you have to do is put your antenna in right there. And then hook it up to where you can record or your video game footage onto your DVD recorder. Like I said, if you're fortunate enough to have one that has the cable connections to the back, not the audio and video connections. I know that sounds a little confusing, but that's basically how you'll be able to do that. I mean... I understand that some people depend on things like the Dazzler or that you could hook up to your computer right there. The Dazzler, which you hook up to your computer and you could just do it like that. I also understand some people also rely on buying a component which they hook up which they hook up inside which they connect inside to the computer that has the audio and video cable uh old-fashioned outputs, if you will, that allow you to record the footage. And I also know that there are some Nintendos and Super Nintendos and, and Segas and, and, even, and even Ataris that allow you just to use the audio and video cables. But anyway, I know it may have sound confusing a little bit, but that's basically how I, I do my video game footage. Again, what I do, because it's easier, is I take my game cables right here, and I hook them up front to this, and the rest is history. Oh, one other suggestion. If you're going to use a form, a disc format to record, my best suggestion is you go with a DVD plus R format. That's right, you go with a DVD plus R format, like this one right here, this is a TDK, Okay, let me see if I can get a... Okay, this one has some writing on Okay, hold on. Here we go. This doesn't have no writing on it. But basically, like I said, my suggestion, if you're going to record with a DVD recorder, whether it's just audio video cables you have to use, or the old-fashioned uh, outputs and inputs of cable, what you need to do is use... A DVD plus R disc, highly recommended, and it, that you use these. Use plus R W if you want to, but if you want, but if you want no problems, if you want straightforward cl clearness, go with a DVD plus R to do your footage. 
And again, that's just basically my response to people asking me how I do my fo do my game footage. Get any more questions? Let me know. I'll talk to you all next time.